time now for perspective. They may pester us, they may sting us, and they may infest our homes. But insects are a crucial part of our ecosystem. A major scientific review has now concluded that over 40% of species are in decline, while a third are at risk of extinction. Today's guest is Professor Dave Goulson from the University of Sussex in the United Kingdom. Thank you very much for being with us here on France 24. Morning. Good morning. Um, first of all, could you talk us through some of the statistics? Just how bad has this situation got? Yeah, there have been a number of uh, scientific studies published in the last few years. Um, probably the best known came out in late 2017. It was a study from Germany uh, of uh, insect catches in uh, traps called malaise traps, where uh, scientists had found that the, the daily catch of insects in Germany fell by 75% uh, over a 26 period, 26-year uh, period, which is you know three quarters of the insects of Germany have seemingly disappeared. Um, and there have been other studies. There was one from Puerto Rico. Various uh, long-term monitoring studies across Europe of butterflies and moths, and they're all rather alarmingly showing the same trends of. Uh, varying rates of either very rapid or quite rapid decline. And presumably there are certain species that are being harder hit than others. Yes, although actually, I mean, one, one thing that isn't really appreciated is just how many any insects, that, how many different types of insects there are. And for most of them, we don't know much about what's happening. Um, so insects make up about two thirds of all life on Earth in terms of numbers of species that we we know of. Um, uh, and most of them aren't actually monitored in any kind of detailed way. Uh, it's, it would be an, an enormously kind of expensive job to do. Uh, but for some particular groups, we do have good data. Um, and yeah, they don't all, they're not all declining at equal rates. The data for moths, for example, suggests that in the UK, moths have declined by maybe 30% over the period that the German insects declined by 75%. But the patterns are broadly the same. Um, they, all, they all kind of agree in the sense that certainly there is some kind of major problem as far as our insects are concerned. Now, the big question, as you were hinting there, is what or how can we explain this decline? What have been the main catalysts? Most people agree that it's... A lot of it's just habitat loss. We used to have a landscape with many more flowers, with many more kind of semi-natural areas, hay meadows, chalk downland, uh, more hedges. Um, and uh, a lot of that has been lost to intensive farming and to housing estates and roads and all sorts of other things that, that humans do. Um, but the farming is probably uh, arguably the biggest issue because farming has radically changed in the last um, 50, 100 years. Um, and associated with that, there's been um, the adoption of the use of a lot of pesticides. And many people have concluded that, that a, a, certainly a, a big part of the problem insects face is the fact that we douse the landscape with lots of different chemicals, including insecticides, which are designed to kill um, insects. So just to give you one figure, um, in the UK each year, um, farmers apply 16.9 thousand tonnes of pesticides to the landscape every year. So you know, perhaps we shouldn't be entirely surprised that, that uh, insects are disappearing. Now, many people watching at home might not actually realise the, the crucial role that insects play in our lives. Yeah, I mean, as, as you kind of touched on in the introduction, you know, many people don't really like insects. They, they, they think they sting, they bite, they spread diseases, they're annoying, um, uh, which, I mean, I'm an entomologist, I love insects, and I find that really sad. But, but whether you love them or loathe them, uh, people ought to appreciate how important they are. Um, I've already mentioned they make up the bulk of life on Earth. They're integral to every food web, so they're food for enormous numbers of, of organisms that we do like on, on, on the whole, things like birds, uh, bats, small mammals, frogs, uh, lizards, and so on. They all eat insects. So if the insects go, then they'll all go. Um, insects do important things like pollination, um, nearly 90% of all the plant species in the world need pollinating by some kind of insect. Um, and three quarters of our crops need pollinating by insects. And they, they do other things as well. Um, they keep the soil healthy. They recycle cow, cow pats, dead bodies, 
um, a, a whole host of, of, of roles that they play. So we should be really worried about it, whether we like them or not. One final question, Professor Goulson. When I go off air and I go home, what can I personally do today to try and boost the insect numbers in my own area? Well, the good news is, uh, for all the doom and gloom, is there are things you can easily do to make, if, if you have any kind of garden, um, even a tiny one, um, you can make it insect friendly. You can plant bee friendly flowers. My university website has a list of uh, uh, insect friendly flowers that you might grow, which is easy to find. Um, you might put up a bee hotel, which is a little thing that, that uh, solitary bees like to live in. Um, don't use any pesticides. Um, lots of little things. And if we could get everybody to do that, uh, then we could turn, maybe we could turn our cities and our towns into a, a sort of giant insect nature reserves, which might help to turn things around. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't it indeed? Dave Goulson there at the University of Sussex, thank you very much for being with us.